welcome. Let's, uh, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's not what I want. Yes? <sighs> Already looted that, I guess. about to switch to a controller. Just because this is such a pain in the ass. Bye bye. Isn't like Alderaan. They stay away from the sleep gangs. Oh, don't blow up in my face. Ah! No problem. Didn't work. This isn't like Alderaan. It can be more dangerous there. <sighs> Damn it. Hmm. That's what Google's for, right? Right. Problem. Oh, Didn't work. Uh, 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 Try to enter the password. Please enter the proper password response to her. What is the name of your pet? Hyperdrive. Oh, that's my uncle. Uh, Yeah. 
Republican bot armor. Oh, let's see if I can give him better shit. Oh, yeah. I should give him better shit a long time ago. Defense plus five. Defense plus four. But I want that. Oh, fuck. That Sith armor is garbage. Yes? Give me all your stuff. Nothing here? Okay. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Uh... Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting. No problem. Got it. I gave you a chance to get out of now you'll see. I don't want to die. I'm probably gonna die. Oh yeah, I totally What are they fighting? I shouldn't go over there unless I want to die. Remains. Thank you. A hidden back lookout. Hey, 
You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back bay. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open-door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Valkyra Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Hmm. My loyal. Oh. Well, we decide. Go in and speak to. Yay! Guys. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't... Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. Alright. Uh, I want to lose stuff before I start doing stuff. Playable. Can't do it. I did it for so long last night. Can't do it. This is not meant to be played with two screens. Let's see if I can get the fucking controller to work. Ugh. Come on. Go in. Harder than it should have been. Oh, what the fuck? I guess I did. Uh, thumbs off. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Gameplay. Oh, no. Can I not use a controller? I can't. <sighs> this is going to be such a pain in the ass. Hell yeah, baby. A security door. 
Oh man. Should I try? No problem. Didn't work. Damn. Damn. No problem. Didn't work. Damn. Forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredjik and the Vulkers began this war against uh, us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? <laughs> a foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulkers won't listen. Mm. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. Ah. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Damn straight. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulkas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. Oh, did they? It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Mm. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery. But the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and hey, sell them for the a nice thing. profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. <sighs> Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. <laughs> if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. You're in no position to bargain here. Without my help, you don't have a hope of getting this Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. Damn. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Okay. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Uh -huh. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her.
She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Let's go. Oh, there's a shit. Fuck, my mouth's off screen again. I need to heal. Oh. Oh. So nice. So nice. Now we have to find our way back out. And all the way back down. Oh, fuck. I hope I can get back down there. Without the fucking uniform. Here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the up. Yeah, go back to. Why do you care what? Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the up. Oh, run for it! Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Do 
Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse. That's all I can think of. It. You do? Well, fair enough. Where are the schools? <laughs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Sounds like an excuse. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. Look, I'm not trying to insult Sex. you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. Me. Yes, you. Why should I trust you after you all? If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, especially not yourself. Not myself. I don't need to be analyzed, thanks. Can we just get back to business? Mm. No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy. If that's even possible, oh, why yeah. is whether or not I trust works. you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I, mean, I want to get underway. Mm. Dude, I might have fucked myself. I don't know. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith, but it's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith. Oh, right, I got authorization papers. Well, why didn't you say so? Hmm. Everything. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at it. Exactly.
improved power attack. Hmm. Toughness is good. to do with the hideout. Damn it. Well. Ah. Don't shoot me. Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more? What does it matter that much? I just don't trust... Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk. Exactly. Well, you want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith, and we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It's not that. It's... That's not what I mean. There were, there were others. Good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. Good. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Don't shoot me, 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 don't shoot me. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Yeah. Rack ghouls. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our toll. elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. 
I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five, Five credits! Quit. We're not fools. We know all who come from the upworld are rich. Please, is five credits too much to ask? Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives easier. Fuck you. Have you no heart? Have you no compassion? Come, my brother. Let us go. We will get nothing from this selfish upworlder. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. <sighs> name My name is Shalina. <laughs> You're from the upworld, aren't you? I... have I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. I mean, you can dream while fool, improving. Having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me Kids the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Hmm. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 uh, years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, hmm. but... He'll be somewhere in the village. Ugh, I couldn't... Damn it. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Genda... Ugh. There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Oh, okay. Ugh. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Yeah, I'll pour all that. What can I loot? I wanna loot stuff. Give me loot. Outcast. Baba, my baby Baba. A lifetime lived in this dark place. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. <laughs> if a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange right? food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Hmm. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. 
Yes, please. Connie Battle Armor. Oh, man. Paza cards. Oh, my God. This shit's so expensive. Why is the plus three only 18? Okay. <laughs> wow. Expensive. Very useful. I'm gonna need this shit for the fucking rackles. None of it fucking works. It gives me a rackle virus. Stand. You come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is... Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single of mm. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, no will you way. help an old man? Will you seek... Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Mm. I wish you luck up. Okay. Outcast healer. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Danger and suffering. Yeah, I'm only warning you for your own protection, Upworlder. The villagers infected with the Rukgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected mm. ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. If you have questions, you should. But despite Ugh. my. Fine. Yeah. I don't have to go back to my apartment now. Let's go get. Greetings, dark. Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you... No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. <laughs> why have you come into this dark and sunless place? It... Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Oh. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. 
She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Mm. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls oh. and the other foul creatures. Ask your questions, Upworlder. Mm. <laughs> eh, I don't care. As you wish, up. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna go with this entrance up north, I think. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the... <laughs> You'd risk your life. I'll open. Let's go. Where's that? Here. Oh fuck. Here. How'd ah! ah! you like that? that feels sick. Down you go. You asked for this. What? Oh, shit. Yes, what's on your mind? I don't know what I wanted. You got it. Who the fuck is that? Are those Sith? Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Yes. It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. <gasps> me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. <laughs> you know, looking for stuff. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you... Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. Mm. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then I, I took off. I figured... I don't know for sure. <laughs> it's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being Third kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Yeah. Yeah. I think because Rackles are a pain in the ass. Oh, fuck. Three, eight, four, nine. You can keep that, Karth. You can keep that. All right. 
Alrighty then. Oh, fuck. Uh. Yeah. Alright. Yes? Sure. Fuck yeah, dude. Gotta fuck shit up. Oh, where am I going? 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 over here rubble the lower sewers oh, I gotta explore the entire upper sewers first oh that's Candorous Move. I'm I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. Mm. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Oh, two, three. Looks like we've four got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. 
We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Is Davik really? won't like that. This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess the lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Becks oh. and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Becks were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately the Black Vulkers are... Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent mm. their... Come on, boys, let's... Aim, boy. There's one left. That hurt, I bet. Promised Land Apprentice Journal. Ah, oh, two antidotes. Another corpse. What? Okay, come on. Give me antidote. I'll take that back. Taking out those rat goals was surprisingly easy. Ugh, now let's see what this bullshit is. Oh, actually. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags... I uh, still have you, Hendar. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go get healed, and... Let's go talk to this... Let's go talk to the crazy guy. Greetings once more, Upworlder. <laughs> da 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 it is as I feared then. She joins the list of those who have... By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. <sighs> you are to be the beacon on our path. Hmm. 
You are marked, Upworlder. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity. Oh, really? Well... The great city of Taurus covers the entire surface of this planet. So it's like there is no stuff. land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food. A century ago, rising levels of toxic uh, pollution poisoned the oceans and famines. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people... But the poor rose up against this tyranny, mm. and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands uh. were taken prisoner. The jail... Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grand. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make. Now we live a dark existence beneath the. Legends tell of a self sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A parrot mm. for many years I searched for the promised land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. Sounds like a myth Damn. to me. Something to give the I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal but I know my father and grandfather each had <sighs> I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope Okay. It is, I w Yay, 175 experience. Heal me. Back again. Yeah. Oh, let's go see what these fucking Sith are up to. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends mm. about the Promised Land, didn't he? You know, most people don't believe his stories. Mm. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I th For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important That's man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest <sighs> of the villagers. I won't let that happen. The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found something. They, they would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all ah. three journals to me. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business. Once you have all three... Mm. Uh, it ain't the best. Connie Battle Armor. Alright. I got what I came for. What are you up to, Sith? You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Mm. <laughs> Can't answer until he's next to me. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control.
<laughs> I didn't take as much damage as I thought I would. Oh, fuck yeah. A Sith energy shield? Blaster rifle. Motion detection goggles? Boss. And I got an extra frag grenade out of there. Yay, me. Oh, is this blaster rifle any better? Are these blaster rifles any better than what I have? One to eight plus seven. Nope. No, they're not. Oh, that's a pretty boss fiber blade. I mean, it's not as good as mine, but. Exactly the same. Fuck. It's a lot of rackles, man. Oh my god, you suck. <laughs> I knew it was a good idea to go with a blaster. Oh, sweet. Level up. Nah. This is shit. Oh. Hey there. What can I do for you? Really? You? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, this was... <sighs> hey, nobody said the vulgar... Anyway, I scream... Hey, don't treat me like I'm a... Those vul... I guess... The other two scream... Mm. I thought I keep... Screen. Anyway... Oh... <laughs> yeah... My brother's a touchy subject, mm. you know? It just so happens... I don't really. All right. A corpse. I like corpses. They have stuff. I mean, you know, I have eight credits, but still. Oh, where the wind blows, a discouraging so many rackles. I think I'm just gonna. Dead people give me things. Beam splitter? What the fuck? Heavy commissuit. Hmm. S a skeleton. Discouraging woes. Oh wow. Ah, sewer entrance. 
well. Switch to the fiber armor. Will says. Thank you. 
Oh. What? Oh, I still gotta give him the fucking antidote. Are you serious? What? Three doors. Oh, come on. But they're not down. Hey! Corpse. Everyone likes to get corpse. There's a ladder yet. No rackles. Uh, 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 
<laughs> I still really need tree injury. Fuck you. Strike. What? Empathy. Fuck am I now? God 
Dang it. City force field. I don't know, is that the ladder? I don't remember. Well, let's go take down this force field. Why? Fucking fuck. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I should probably should have gone heal first. Punch. More gamer. Do they have fucking trained rat ghouls? What is this shit? Let's 
summons, but that's... <laughs> you asked for this! all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there say. are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't mm. you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's... To listen to you call and I sure as hell don't need this look let mm. a severed arm why the fuck is there a severed arm here I wonder Beck data man That's what I wanted. <sighs> Assembles a favorite prey of rancors. Remains. How did I miss you? And I got my favorite thing in the whole world. A mid pack. Oh, 
Let's go get healed. Mm. I really want credits though. I really, really want credits. Back again. Is Back again? Is there something else you need? Your offer is generous, Upworlder, but the serum is useless to us now. The villagers infected with the rat ghoul disease have been quarantined. Be Nobody would be foolish enough to... Damn. Farewell. Again, is there some? Please, please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end. Mm. You, you have a cure. We, we have. N please, up. Light side points. Good thing I didn't do it. Man, I really want credits. I really, really want credits. Have all the journals. Uh, uh, let's see what I get. From each of them. Uh, I know. Exciting. Shouldn't have clicked on that one. <laughs> Read. 
rewards. Okay. Dun 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 dun. dun. Care, care. Oh my god, it's a terrible fucking. God, IGN, you suck. I need some dark side points. <sighs> Come here, bitch. Hey there. Credits, fuck off. I don't think you. I want. Fine! Go to Rukel! But he won't be able to. Mm. Hey there! Damn it. I knew Rukel. Right. I don't think. I want. Excellent! Now Rukel will never. Wow, he runs pretty fast for a hundred-year-old man. False prophet! Deceiver! You have betrayed me! You have- All I have worked for is- Aww. Oh. I mean, I'll kill him and give him to you. Fuck yeah. Dark side, here I come. Dark side, dark side.
what's happened. I got three of those odor things. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
think I'm gonna heal, come back, save, and end the stream. This way? Nope, not that way. Alright. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Lattice block, right? Yep. Yeah. If I looked at the main app, I would know that. Come back fresh in the Rancor Pit. Thanks for watching.